Well, Barbara, you have to introduce yourself to the camera. Introduce myself. Did, did you do it? I am Barbara Hannum. Welcome to the Hawaii Loa campus of HPU. This place brings back many wonderful memories, I'm sure, for Yoshida Sensei and for myself. I have been here on the faculty. Oh, too long. <laughs> I taught here from 80, well, from 85, but then lived in Japan from 86 until 89. Returned in 89 to teach, and Yoshida Sensei came in 1990, right? And at that time, I was married, and Yoshida Sensei came to my wedding. Right. At Lanikai Beach, and then we came. We had the reception. Did you come yeah, to the reception yeah. also here on this campus, up at the academic center? So this campus is a place of work, but it's also a place of many memories. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Vanna White. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jean coordinator of the Proficiency in English program and uh, we'd be happy to have you come and spend some time with us next year. All right, where did you get your IDs? Um, Nietzsche gave us. Okay, and that's Miss Barbara? No. Jean? Eric, okay, a different teacher gave it to you, so. Nice church. Want to start from over there? Let's start from that building there like we started in our little journey. Over there? KK building. KK building it's called? Yeah. And then Center for English Center for English Language Programs. Let me zoom in. Oops. Okay. Center for English Language Programs here. And KK building over there. So we're in downtown now, right? How do you know which building is which building? How do you know which building is which building? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Is it is it pretty easy? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, where's this uh, tutoring center? Could you show us the tutor? Where's the computers and and where's the where's the computers and where's the conversation place that you guys go to? Kind of far away. What's this here? So we can uh, we can learn grammar, pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. So could you please explain about the LAT briefly? Oh wait, it's Indigana video. Oh okay, wait, yeah, yeah, my supervisor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We already are taking video of you. <laughs> but this thing, the battery's running out. 
Yeah. Oh, every, yeah, every five minutes it's going. So can they do email here? Yeah. 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 And do they have a, do, can they print out here? Yes. All right. There's going to be a new student ID for everyone and the print card is just inside the student ID. So okay. just print from the student ID. It's going to come out next in the middle of August. Okay. Print card inside the city. What does that mean? The student, we're going to have a new student ID. Mm -hmm. Like the student ID, we have now looks like this. Uh -huh. In the future, we're going to have one of those new student IDs, and it has a print card built in. It. So just come in, use a student ID, and use a print machine. You can just print out with a student ID. Okay, I see. <laughs> Gotta have the continuity, you know. Continuity to Hi, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, our students are coming here every day for a conversation uh, thing. What's that? I can stop now. Yes, yes please. Uh, Action. <laughs> uh, this is the HPU Tutoring and Testing Center. Uh, basically, we have all different kinds of tutors here. We have English tutors, math tutors, management tutors, all kinds of business tutors here. So the it's only for the students, HPU students, who need to seek help for all kinds of studies, like um, in, as well as English, and they have all kinds of papers, grammar check or something. Mm -hmm. So they will come here and uh, ask for the tutors for the help, like for for checking the grammar or something. And um, the procedure is when the students come here, we have them to sign in and ask their first name, last name, and the class number and also the uh, teacher's last name. This is very important for the, teach, for the students to know. And also, um, when the, for our jobs, we, we have to sign, uh, sign them in and we will arrange them to see the appropriate tutor. And each session will be 20 minutes, so after 20 minutes, if students want to sign in again, they need to come back and sign in again, and then we have to send another student for another session. So, that's all about it. Well, that sounds like a very wonderful service that you guys are offering. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
the other thing is I wanted to introduce Matt and Shensia. Okay, they're teachers from Yoshiki and Ari School in St. Andrews in, um, in Osaka, right? Yes, Osaka. Okay, so they're going to be uh, they're videotaping uh, the class today uh, because maybe some more students from St. Andrews will come here in uh, future uh, terms. So they'll be videotaping the whole Okay? Alright. Okay. 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 <laughs> Sometimes it's eliminated. It's 
certain situations. Okay, sometimes it's a limit. So you could say like some people might say he's sick to me. Okay? Alright? So the B verb, okay, B verb is this. That's the line. Okay? So let's say John is sick today. John is sick. Okay? So John is sick today. And then uh, there's a lot of languages that, uh, I don't know a lot, but people have some languages that I know they don't use it. That for the equal sign, they just completely take it out. So for example, in Russian, if you say, my mother is a woman, you just say, my mother is my mother, a woman, or my mother is a woman, okay? So you just put the two things, that, you just put the X and Y next to each other. And Hawaiian, okay, if you want to say, um, I'm a teacher, Okay. Okay, a teacher. And then how is I. Okay, so we'll take up the people. That's what happens in some of the non-standard dialects in America. Sometimes okay, so in some situations. Okay, so we just got up there. Right, so you might hear somebody say, um, let's say uh Mary. Mary to fire to go to the park. Any money today? And I didn't talk to anyone. Okay? I didn't have any money, and I didn't talk to anyone. Can you do it in double negative? Right. I didn't have no money, and I. Right. Yeah. Right. In, in, in double negative. I have no money and I didn't follow up on my own. Right, right, okay. So you'll hear that also sometimes in non standard English. Okay. Oh, it's, well, it's not, I mean, what, what's considered correct in English, grammatically correct in English, it's not correct. But the reason I'm pointing this out to you is that there are a lot of people, you know, some people in America speak in non standard uh, dialects. If you watch movies, uh, where the setting is in a town or a place where it's commonly used, uh, you will hear this. Okay, but this isn't this isn't like uh, uh, you know, some people would say it's not acceptable in English, but it's just you know it's hard to say that when you, know, when you have like when you go to a part of part of the country or a small town or someplace where they do where everybody speaks like this, it's hard to say that it's not acceptable. You have to speak, you speak like that. So, uh, but it's just it's just not standard English, but the thing to keep in mind about this is don't use this yourself, okay? Because if you, for example, you're taking an exam, you're writing a research paper, and you use not standard English, it's really strange, okay? Don't think you had a bad English teacher. <laughs> okay, so, all right? Okay, so these are just some, some key things to keep in mind. Um, if, uh, you know, if you're watching a movie or watch a TV show, you might be this, okay? So that's, what, that's the thing that came up in the Maya Andre All right, is everybody okay with this? Any questions? No? What about um, Warner, Warner? Oh, uh, that's just, um, yeah, that's just like natural speech, um, speech pronunciation. Like, for example, um, I want to, I want to go to the store, okay? I want to take a nap, and then this comes out, I want to. All right, so the thing about this is never write it like this. Okay, never write it like this. You can say it like this. Oh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take a nap, okay? I'm going to. Okay, so when you speak fast, it comes out like this, okay? But you should never write it like this. Never write it like this. It's just, it's just the way it comes out. It's just the way it comes out. Okay, now, what about it? Got it. Got it. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. So, this will be I've got to take a shower. Okay. Okay. Now, this one comes out. I gotta take a shower. Okay. Right. Can I 
again, you don't write it like this. This is just what, what happened. Um, this is the way it comes up. The other thing is, is that when you're reading a novel, when you're reading a novel and you're reading dialogue, you're reading a conversation, sometimes they will write it like this to emphasize the way you're speaking. Okay? And all the other questions? Anything else? No? Again, um, this is for your information. Please don't use this. Okay? Please don't use this because. Uh, what happens is, for example, let's say like somebody goes to Austria, okay, to study German, and they start speaking the dialect of some small town, right? It's going to look really strange, right? And same thing with other countries, like if you know, if like you go to another country and you start using the dialect of some small town somewhere, uh, you know, it's going to sound really strange. It's the same thing that is, as English is your second language. If you start speaking the dialect, uh, if you start speaking the dialect. Right in Kailua town, where there is a, another 